on everyone, welcome back to my channel. We are just about to enter patch 2.4, but there's already a lot of excitement among players about the upcoming patch 2.5. Who could or not? The HoYoVerse team has released a few more characters teasers since the last live stream, including Veisho and Lingxia, who have been catching players' attention since they were first announced. There's already a lot of info out there about these two new characters. But of course, fans are waiting for the day when they can see the teaser of their character's kit officially. Of course, there's more on the players' minds than just the new characters. They are also wondering what kind of new story will happen, what new Stellar Jade social assistance events will there be, and so on. In this video, I will try to discuss what we can expect in the future patch 2.5. So without further ado, let's just into it. Do you have a character or weapon in the game that you really want but you don't have enough stellar jades? Here is a smarter way to recharge your favorite games like Genshin Impact and Honkai Star Rail. Look no further than Loot Bar. Loot Bar is the most reliable top-up platform, saving 20% for all orders compared with the official channel, and an extra 5% off for your first purchase. It's 100% safe as you will only be using your UID. We will buy a pack for 3,000 stellar jades for $42, which otherwise would have cost $50. Is having $7.5. We received the crystals we purchased in less than 3 minutes. All recharge will be done through the official channel with Mihoyo, which allows you to enjoy all top up overs. Ready to level up your gaming experience? Check the link in the description to get the amazing discount. It seems likely that we will see the introduction of a new banner character. I think it's pretty clear that Hoyoverse is planning to release new characters. On top of that, they have released some marketing materials for these two characters, Xiao and Lingxia. Xiao, also known as Merlin's Cloak, is one of the seven orbital generals of the Xianzhou Alliance Cloud9, and the leader of the Xianzhou Yaoqing. There's good chance Xiao will be released in version 2.5 in early September. We can now see the real form of Xiao after her marketing dropped some time ago. Xiao is wearing clothes that add a new touch to the Honkai Star Rail. I especially like the coat she's wearing. She really comes across as a woman leader, but with a fighter spirit and a free spirit. I still stand by what I said in my last video. Xiao's design is excellent and might be the best among several characters in recent patches. What are your thoughts on this? As it turns out, Xiao is a 5-star character with a wind-type hunt unit. The overall kit is all about weakness break, follow-up attack, enhancing skills, and giving blue dot and red dot markings to the enemies. There isn't any more detailed info about her kit, but Veisho has been rumored to be as strong as Akron. What do you think? Can Veisho rule with Akron or is she losing prestige? Let us know your thoughts. Another new character is Zhenshou Lovu's Cauldron Master Lingxia. Although full details of Lingxia's have not been confirmed, this fire-type abundant character is rumored to have a summon similar to Tobaz's Nambi. This summon will take the form of a rabbit and will have its own speed and turn during combat. It is also rumored that Lingxia will be a healer with a higher healing capacity than Luocha and will also be able to give damage breaks to the enemies. Overall, Lingxia's kit has similarities to both Luocha's and Gallagher's kits. If you want to know more about these two characters, I suggest you check out my video as I talked about Fei Xiao and Lingxia some time ago. And last but not least, the mysterious character Moza. It seems that Hoyoverse really wants to give a mysterious impression to this 4-star lightning hunter character, in line with the portrayal of his character as an expert in the field of assassination because we have not been giving any additional information about this kit so far. The information we have is still based on the Home Digicat website, where Moza is rumored to have a technique similar to Scylla, where he enters a stealth state for about 20 seconds, and in this state, the enemy cannot detect his presence. As for this skill, Moza can choose a shadow target, but unfortunately, there was no further explanation for this skill or Moza's other kits until this video was made. Some time ago, I had speculated about the rerun banner that would be in patch 2.5, which was between Ekron or Sparkle. 
and it seems that according to several sources, the characters that will get reruns in patch 2.5 are Sparkle and Doctor Ratio. I will try to talk about these two characters a little bit so that we at least know if these two characters are still meta for the current patches or not. Doctor Ratio is actually pretty good DPS, suitable for players who like a single target playstyle. But unfortunately, in my opinion, Doctor Ratio has been power creeped by several other DPS characters for this new patch. Players also don't seem to be using this Doctor Ratio very much. We can see from the Pride Window GG that Doctor Ratio's usage rate in the YMOC is now only 10%. As for Pure Fiction, the usage rate is up to 5%. And for Apocalyptic Shadow itself, the usage rate is 12%. This relatively low MOC, Pure Fiction, Apocalyptic Shadow usage rate is reasonable in my opinion. Because the current meta is Weakness Break and Follow-Up Attack. Dr. Ratio has Follow-Up Attack in his kit, but in order for Dr. Ratio's Follow-Up Attack to consistently deliver good damage, we need to have a synergy team that is already qualified to keep up with Dr. Ratio's Follow-Up Attack triggers. In addition, another weakness of Dr. Ratio's follow-up attack is that he is very single target oriented. Unlike other follow-up attack characters such as Simeko, Herda, Jingyuan, which are quite easy to use besides the follow-up attack trigger, their follow-up attacks have an AoE area, which when used in any game content such as MOC, Pure Fiction, and Apocalyptic Shadow, is in my opinion much more profitable than single targets like Dr. Ratio. Sparkle is a universal support that gives good buffs to the team, and it can also help our DPS who are wasting SP thanks to the increased SP cap and SP recovery. To say it's still meta or not, in my opinion, Sparkle is still meta and still worth pulling and using for the current patch. According to the Pravendo.gg, Sparkle's usage rate in the MOC is now 40%. As for Pure Fiction, the usage rate is only slightly lower at 39%. And for Epicalyptic Shadow itself, the usage rate is only 36%. The MOC, Pure Fiction, and Epicalyptic Shadow usage rates are still quite high, if you ask me. And this proves that Sparkle is still often used by most players as their DPS support. This is natural because Sparkle's buff is actually quite good. With the new 5-star characters Veisho and Linsha, there is of course a new Lightcon for them. Unfortunately, there was no information about Veisho's Lightcon until this video was made. If there is more information, I might talk about it in a separate video later. For now, there is only information about the 5-star Lightcon for Lingsha, and based on several reliable sources, namely HomeDigiCat, the Lightcon owned by Lingsha, which is currently called Dreamless Overtime, has the following effects. It is clear that Lingsha will be a character that focuses on break effects. From the Lightcons alone, we need to have at least 150% of break effect to be able to use the Lightcon effect. The bonus effect of the buff called Benefit in my opinion, is clearly very good for the Super Break team. Because as we know from the Super Break damage formula, one of the bases for producing a big super damage is from speed itself. The higher the speed we have, the more it will affect the damage produced by Super Break. In addition, if we calculate the total speed we get through these light counts, it's up to 12%, which I think is very high. The latest information shared by a trusted sources, Firefly Lover on Reddit hints at a new events that will be included in version 2.5. According to the post, these events will be a tournament mode where players duel against other characters. Not many details are given, but the Firefly Lover post mentions that players may fight against other playable characters such as Topaz, Kafka, and Aventurin. The information also mentions weird combinations in the event. While the 2.5 event information is light on specifics, this isn't the first time Honkai Star Rail players have battled other playable characters. Honkai Star Rail has made several playable characters bosses in the game, including Kafka, Yanqing, and Orjendi. So I don't think this is really something new. What do you think? Another update from Firefly Lover says that there will be a new planner ornament for the upcoming 2.5 patch. 
This information may also indicate that there will be a new world in the simulated universe. And supposedly, this planner set will have good buffs for Fei Xiao and Lin Sha, where each planner will increase follow-up attacks ability, Fei Xiao's weakness break, and of course Lin Sha's healing. From the home digicat, we get quite surprising information where Fei Xiao is rumored to be an enemy in the upcoming patch. There is no further information about how Fei Xiao will become a new enemy in the upcoming patch. But from the info written on home digicat, it says that Fei Xiao's enemy mechanic will summon enemies, and Fei Xiao will make some kind of connection with the summon. There are no further details about this boss Fei Xiao's mechanic. Also, when we fight Fei Xiao, there will be an assist button to help us, just like when we fight Kokolia and Sunday. Does this mean that Fei Xiao will be a weekly boss? What do you think? We've got a new planner ornament, a new boss, and of course, a new apocalyptic shadow. There is a chance that Fentilga will show up as an enemy in the next apocalyptic shadow from Home Digicat. Ventilia's mechanic will be similar to the weekly boss. There will be flowers that appear, but each attack from the flower won't reduce our skill points. Instead, it will restore her HP and reduce our own character's energy. Then when do a weakness break, it will replenish our ultimate energy. Who do you think of this? Does it seem confusing? Word is we will also get a new MOC in version 2.5. This one's rumored to buff weakness break. It looks like the Firefly Weakness Break team is going to be an idol in this MOC. And it seems like this MOC was made to raise the prestige of Wei Xiao and Ling Xia in this new patch. I think there are 4 main characters that will benefit from this new MOC. They are Firefly, Wei Xiao, Ling Xia, and Akron. What do you think? Please share your opinion on down below. We have got a new boss, a new apocalyptic shadow, a new MOC, and now some new pure fiction. As we are aware, the latest update includes some beneficial changes for pure fiction. Home Digicat says the new pure fiction will start on August 19th and has a buff that I think is pretty common. If an ally uses their ultimate to attack an enemy target and hits them with shatter, they can stack it up to 6 times. At the start of the target's turn or when the target is defeated, it deals a certain amount of damage to the target and surrounding targets based on the number of shatter stacks. I think characters who can regenerate a lot of energy and also use ultimates will benefit from this new pure fiction. Characters who have high energy costs for their ultimates or whose ultimate only provide buffs to the team might not be as advantaged here. What do you think about patch 2.5? Feel free to put your comment in the comment section below. And don't forget to check out my another video. Thanks for watching, stay safe, stay healthy, and see you in the next video.